Nike wants you to be a walking billboard for Nike. Wear the swoosh, boom. Adidas, they want you to be a walking billboard for Adidas. All of those brands want you to be walking billboards for the brand. Where I flipped it is my customers are the tribe, as I call them. They don't see themselves as walking billboards for Actively Black. They look at Actively Black as something that represents them. Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? So I'm back with another review. And today's company we're going to be looking at is an apparel brand called Actively Black. And what's crazy is, you know how when you look at some companies, you go on their website and you're trying to figure out if the company black owned or not. You got to search high and low, right? Um, well, yeah, that ain't Actively Black. Uh, Actively Black, in my opinion, Actively black, black is the most unapologetically black brand that I've seen, honestly, since uh, probably FUBU. Um, the company's CEO, Lanny Smith, has made it very clear that he's about putting our community, you know what I'm saying, ours, the black community first. And um, he just makes it very clear, and you can see it, you know, on the web, on their website, uh, on all their social media pages. They're very, um, I just use the word unapologetic in their approach um, when they discuss um, things that have to do with our people. So yeah, I've been shopping with Actively Black for some time now. Uh, I think the company launched. Uh, in 2020, mid 2020, and um, you know, I consider myself to be an active person. Uh, I work out, you know, multiple times uh, per week, and so uh, I needed some gear, you know, that I could feel comfortable with in the gym, and you know, uh, do what I need to do. So uh, the first thing I got from the junk I see here is some of their Tech Fleece um, shirts. Um, these shirts is, is, is good quality, man. Um, I just like how Tech Fleece, uh, you know, when you're working out, you start getting hot. Um, this this material keep you cool. And um, that's what theirs is. So I'll just show you a little bit of uh, some of the stuff I've already bought from them. As you can see, it's real stretchy. That's what it says in the back. There's greatness in our DNA. And the black one is um, is the same story. They're, they're the exact same, just a different color. Um, and then I also bought a uh, yoga mat from them. I could be a black yoga mat. I mean, they got so many things um, uh, as far as um, athletic wear and then just things that you're going to need, you know, if, you, if you're if an athletic person, you're a busy person. So I got that to, to you know, get my stretch on. But today, we hear about this purchase. Um, so not too long ago, I went and caught me um, one of their polos. They call it the Men's Black Marble Performance Polo. And so we're about to unbox that right now. Okay, so as y'all can see, mind you, so this is what it comes in. This is all I got, by the way. I just got this one shirt, <laughs> and you see how it come packed. I mean, they put it in a box, and then they got this bag here, and you know, it's all real, you know, high quality. So, pull this out. That's the back again is saying we got greatness in our DNA. And here's this side, the front. So I got the polo, so it's got is it buttons? 
buttons. Just the little snap buttons. Um, but yep, so I went and caught this. Um, first impressions, you know, it's similar to, uh, you know, the other, the other shirts I got over there, same quality, same material, you know, that stretchy, um, fabric. Um, I got mine in a size large and yeah, I can't wait to throw it on. Matter of fact, I'm gonna probably throw this on when I hit the gym up later today. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, that's, Um, this shirt, they're selling it for 60 right now. Um, I caught it on sale. They had a 40% um, off sale going on. I don't think that's still going on right now, but, um, I caught it at 40% off, but it's normally going 60, but, um, which is, it's up there, but that's how this tech stuff is. Tech fleece is, is, it's never been cheap. Uh, Anybody that's bought tech fleece material or uh, shirts and clothes, joggers, um, you know what it is. So, um, yeah, there's that. Um, but stay tuned. I want to dive in a little bit deeper with Actively Black. The path to entrepreneurship looks different for everyone. And Lenny Smith's story is interesting, to say the least. Lanny is a former basketball player that made the Sacramento Kings NBA roster, but got hurt 30 days after signing his first contract. However unfortunate that may seem, through hard work, perseverance, and favor, he was able to build two thriving sports apparel companies. Act of Faith is the name of Lanny's first company that he got rolling back in 2011. From the beginning, and even until now, the company has been very successful, producing $20 million in revenue. Next thing he knew, venture capitalists wanted to invest. But after finding out he was black, pulled out. To no one's surprise, those venture capitalists were also non-black. Soon, Lenny began having internal conflicts about letting the public know that he, a black man, owned the brand. Despite the outside pressure, Lanny decided to stay true to himself, and on Black Friday 2020, he launched a new company, Actively Black. Like Active Faith, Actively Black is a brand that sells athleisure sports apparel. However, it's a more premium version. This is not your buy some black hoodies and t-shirts and start printing on them. Everything is made from scratch. All the materials are sourced, cut and sold, and embellished. The process can take up to 30 to 40 days to manufacture. But aside from making dope clothing, what really makes Actively Black stand out is how outspoken the brand is on issues concerning our community. They speak unapologetically on topics like black economics, black self-sufficiency, and overall black pride and solidarity. <clears throat> oh, and they have no problem telling America about herself. The reason they can do this is because the company is funded primarily by black investors. All money ain't good money, and Lanny Smith knows this. For example, in the past, he has pulled the plug on deals with other brands that wanted them to, in so many words, calm down on all the black talk, AKA compromise their integrity and water down who they are. It should also be stated that actively black don't just talk a good game, they walk it. Last year, the company made 5.6 million in revenue and they donated over 500,000 or nearly 10% of revenue toward programs and initiatives designed to directly impact the black community. During the pandemic, I mean pandemic, 
Other brands promised to donate money to help our community, but donated less than 1% of their revenue. Actively Black is also intentional about hiring Black talent. Whether it's marketing, analytics, modeling, photography, you name it, the company purposefully seeks to give opportunities to our people. As the owner and CEO, Lanny Smith, says, we aren't asking for a seat at the table anymore. We're building our own table. Whew. Man, so that's it. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I tried my best to cover everything I could about this company. Um, but if there is still, if there's something I left out or questions that y'all had about Actively Black, uh, leave those questions in the comments, man. Um, and I'll get to you. Um, but yeah, man, other than that, that's it. It's a wrap. Peace.